My name is Nathaniel Collins and I am the British and Commonwealth Featherweight Champion. From Scotland, the nightmare, Nathaniel Collins! I never ever dreamed of getting a British or a Commonwealth. I always dreamed of a world title. So my problem now is I want the guys above me with the belts and the guys below me will want me with the belts. But I'm like, at that stage, like, why do I need them now? <laughs> the British title fight was one of the ones where I thought, you win this, you're British and Commonwealth champion. I thought everybody will be chatting at the door on Monday, Tuesday, um, the following week, and nobody even phoned or cared at all. So um, I was on to my manager, Sam, I said, can we get something sorted with a promoter? Like, get on it, boxer, matchroom, Queensbury, so on and so forth. It's all about getting signed and actually raising my my profile and trying to get on one of the bigger platforms that, that everybody seems to be getting on now. A week and a half later, Sam had said, oh, I've got a contact at Queensbury. It was George Warren, Frank Warren's son. He'd text Sam saying, absolutely interested, let's get a call. And then about a week later, I was down. I'd signed the contract. I was down in London for the Joe Joyce Zhang fight. So everything happened quite quickly. And I am looking forward to getting getting going on the TV. They've got a lot of featherweights and I, I'm, I'm there for every one of them. I'm there, I'm holding the belts. It's the way I see it is I'm the number one featherweight in the stable. So if that's how they see it, fair enough. And if that's not how they see it, give me your number one featherweight then. I've, even since school, just sacrificed everything that I needed to. I, I went to uni, dropped out for boxing. I went to college, I had to drop out because of the Commonwealth Games, so I've left with no qualification. I'm then starting at the bottom, small hall shows, getting paid £800 a fight or £1,000 a fight. Doesn't it cover a monthly expenses full stop, never mind in a training camp. Recently, I've had a baby, I've got a partner, she's on maternity leave, I've not got a wage coming in for months till I fight, so you're in that position where how can you pay the mortgage, how do you pay everything else. The sacrifices are there, that's the life I decided, that's the life I chose and to get to where I am now I had to go through that and it, there was a time that I loved boxing more than I loved anything and now I've got a family and I love my family more than I love anything so to me this is a means to securing my family's future. I would box for free, no problem at all, then now I see things differently I'm looking to set me, my wife and my daughter up for, for life you know so. That's the way I see it, that's what boxing means to me, it's a means to an end now. It's a lot of, a lot of work and a lot of sacrifice for not a lot of reward. You know, I've been boxing professionally five years. This is me starting to get a sniff of the rewards and the, you know, the, the glory. So, yeah, the struggle creates the strength.